I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there's some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Life happens. The unexpected, the uncalled for, the unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally, damaged spiritually. It may be your business. It may be your heart that is broken today. It may be the number in your bank account that is screaming, you are broke. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and all of those are going to leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or can be the mark of defeat. It is staying with the breaking that produces the blessing. It is not what you go through that determines where you end up. It's who you listen to. Because I think right now, you are walking through a valley between two voices. One is wisdom, one is worry. One is gratitude, one is grumbling. One is blame, one is faith. Because every time you break, and in every way that you break, well, it's a chance for you to give up and for you to fall apart. But there's also opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and get faster and get tougher and get more stable and get more resilient and get better. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through. If they decide to push through it, push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. The fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. You have the opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can beat it. I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for. You don't need no money for it. You don't need no support for it. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. Regardless of what happens to you in life, regardless of the adversity, regardless of the opposition, regardless of the trial and tribulation, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. No situation, no circumstance, no piece of adversity can define your life. Never let a circumstance define you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumber. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand and we gonna live and we gonna die by what we stand for and everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. I got staying power. I got staying power. Be encouraged today that no matter what you walk through, no matter how broken your marriage is, no matter how many times you failed, there is within you a spirit that is greater than whatever is going on around you. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football, I'm telling you at the end of the fight is going to come victory. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place as you rise above what you were and as you take the form of who you are supposed to be you will see that in the very act of standing up in the very act of fighting on you will become and you will remain unbroken you will never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. You know why? 
because failure is a wonderful teacher. It's the only way to learn. You have to fail. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player in the world, he took 946 game-winning shots. He has only made 146 of those. He has missed over 700 times, but he has made 146. You know what they write about? When you make it. They write about when you make it. So guess what? When you get through failing, 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 all you gotta do is make one. Matter of fact, when you fail, be glad about it. Every time you fail, you're one step closer. So every time you fail, say, whew, got that out the way. Go to the next one. Fail again, okay, I got two out the way. What's gonna happen is if you just keep swinging, you're gonna get a hit. Do not fear failure, but please be terrified of regret. As giving up is the birth of regret. You will receive a hundred doors slam in your face. You will have a hundred moments that will be filled with someone telling you no. But what I ask of you today is to not take no for an answer. Don't be afraid of no's. Be afraid of the possibility of a yes that you have prematurely destroyed because you decided to quit before the clock strikes 12. I love a good no. Please tell me no. Telling me no is like adding fuel to a fire that is now set ablaze because of your single no. I love additional reasons to work harder. Please give me a reason. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you already your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. I challenge you to challenge yourself. I challenge you to stop thinking that where you are is enough. I challenge you to go beyond hurt. I challenge you to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. I challenge you. And the problem with some of you in this room, you will never be great because every time you go through pain, every time you go through a problem, every time you go through discouragement, you give up and you quit and you do not understand that at the end of pain is your millions. At the end of pain is your reward. At the end of pain is your productivity. At the end of pain is your promise. So do me a favor, stop crying about it and use your energy to get through it. That's what lions do. And if you are a true lion, it does not make a difference what the circumstance is. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. We turn tragedy into triumphs. That's what we do for a living.